The federal government is trying to give states money to expand Medicaid and get more low-income Americans government health insurance. It's an infusion of money to get more people on the rolls. Political scientist Daniel Skinner is writing a book on health care and politics. He says the answer to who pays for Medicaid expansion is easy. Taxpayers are footing the bill. The question of whether or not states should accept all that money is not. The federal government will pay for 100 percent of the cost of expanding Medicaid for low-income Americans for the first three years and phase that down to 90 percent by 2022. Right now, federal dollars cover 63 percent of the program. Skinner says it's impossible to predict the total toll of the Medicaid expansion on the American taxpayer because every state is different. One Medicaid scholar put it, if you know one Medicaid program, you know one Medicaid program. There are 50 of them. Six months before the Medicaid expansion program was set to take effect, 24 states had accepted the plan, 21 had rejected it, and six were still considering their options. In Ohio alone, $13 billion would add 366,000 people to the rolls. People uh, uh, might shoot themselves before they voted for it. There's concern about the national debt. And in some state houses, lawmakers are worried Washington won't hold up its end of the bargain and stick states with bigger bills and bloated rolls. At some conservative think tanks, the concern is expanding the program fundamentally changes it. It would expand Medicaid to cover able-bodied adults who don't have children, who aren't disabled, uh, who aren't pregnant, and who aren't elderly. Uh, and it does so while providing no requirement that those individuals seek employment. A wide range of special interest groups have rallied for the expansion. Hospitals, business groups, advocates for the mentally ill see it as a good idea. Skinner says it's why some Republican governors have accepted this part of Obamacare. The hard part here is the political question, which is how do you turn back to your people and say, I just left $17.3 billion on the table. Because some argue if that money is not spent in your state, the federal government will send it to the one next door instead.